Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute. So this video is about a PhD entrance review. So what happens recently, this institute, NEPA, National Institute of Educational Planning and Administration, this is deemed to be university, an autonomous university, which, you know, uh, do administration and planning thing for education. Now, they have got these four areas in which they want PhD candidates for. Around 25 seats are there uh, for educational policy, planning, administration, and finance. Okay. What are the broad areas of research? So, candidate could have chosen from these areas. So, every year they announce some of the broad areas in which you can you have your SOP. So, educational policy and implementation, governance and management in education, multiple, multidisciplinary perspectives to education, teacher management issues and professional development, leadership in school and higher education, equity, diversity and inclusion issues in education, and financing and education. You can call it education as well. Anyways, so what are the steps, you know, you have to go through when it comes to enrollment in PhD, your dream, you know. So initially, the initially, initial screening takes place when you have to create, you have to, you know, make SOP, statement of purpose, and it should have your research idea, the title, questions, literature review, and references. The word limit which is given is 1500 words. When you apply for a PhD program, so this SOP you have to create and submit uh, at the time of the application itself. Now, if that SOP works and they like your idea, then you will be transferred to the next phase so that is entrance test. So there are two things. 70% is the weightage of entrance test and 30% is the weightage of interview, which is the third phase. Okay. So let's talk about the second phase, which is entrance test. So in prospectus itself, it is written that 50% is asked from research methodology and 50% from the social science and elite subjects. I'll tell you that, you know, exactly what has come up as a part of entrance test. Then comes interview. They have clearly mentioned that the assessment will be based on the research aptitude. How much are you aware of educational issues? How much do you know about your SOP, which you have prepared and submitted at the time of the application? Then are you you know do you have that comprehensive knowledge of research literature uh on which you know your sop is based and then how much is the ability of yours to interpret data and draw inferences this point i would say is very much into uh, assessed when you have this entrance test phase okay so very much was there in the entrance test phase as well Weightage I have already talked about. Now let's come to the types of questions asked in the written test. So this is totally 50 marks question paper which you will be given with. And the time is for one and a half hour. Now there are three sections. Section A is compulsory and comprises of 10 marks. So there will be a table sort of thing. Any data from maybe um, UDIS or any of the educational body. So they'll ask you some of the questions. Maybe let me give you an example of this year. So there was a data given in which the data was for government and private institutions at different level. So the number of enrollment happens from year 2014 to 15, 16 to 17 and so on boys and girls from government and private institutions enrollment percentage was given in the question paper and it was for middle stage classes from first to eighth then secondary level 9 10 
and then uh, the school education comprehensively from first to twelfth, and you have you are supposed to come up with inferences, at least five inferences from this table. For example, you could have said that okay, boys are enrolled in private. To uh, schools more as compared to girls, because maybe uh, girls are uh, not given that much support, and uh, parents think that you know uh, boys are uh, the sole earners, breadwinners for them, and they have to be provided with good quality education. That's why they are enrolled in private because they have this belief that private institutions provide quality education, right? Such sort of. inferences you have to come up with five inferences each and every inference is of two marks so 10 mark question is this then section b is section b and c both of them are based on educational issues so when i say educational issues can you think of any of them <laughs> we are surrounded by many right for example you know some of the policies issues you have to give your opinion and you have to tell them what is the current scenario what is the way out if it is an issue so this time the question was asked in the very recent paper of theirs that um what are the implications of digital divide okay so you have to explain about digital divide and you have to tell them that what are the implications in providing inclusive quality education okay so this is one sort of question they asked then another question was based on right to education act 2009 about its role and you know uh, the ground reality in everything then there was one question based on the unemployment and social division its impact on education so such sort of questions are asked when it comes to section b and c and remember you have only 1.5 hours to complete this whole thing though the answer sheet is of 30 pages but in 1.5 hours it is really difficult to fill all of them and you have to write make sure you have certain data with you like some reports literacy uh, percentage how many teachers we are having per student um you know not per student but you know uh, when we have number of students how many teachers are available how many vacant positions are there so all of that you should know what are the challenges in the education system what are new education policy talks about whether we are able to implement it what uh, can be the challenges in that uh, in implementing it so some sort of those questions may be asked so this is about the review how did you like this video please let me know in the comment section till my next video take care of yourself and if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel Take care. Bye bye.